I wish I could have caught him on film before he caught him. But my boy, my only boy now, unfortunately, Hermes, caught himself a fly and is digging in. He is a male regal jumping spider, also known as Phidippus regius. And he's been sucking on that fly for some time now. He is hungry. So this is his enclosure. I gave him a little bit more room just cause he's the biggest and I'm pretty sure he's only got one or two molts. Honestly, probably just one before he becomes mature. So this is Hermes enclosure. He's got this little hide that I made from scratch. It's a tunnel. He can go in that way and he can go through that way and he can go through that way as well. And then he's got this little chala wood thing he can crawl in. He's got one of his little nests inside there. I don't know if you can see it. My camera is just having some trouble focusing right now, but he's got a nest in there. He's got a little nest right here. And he seems to like his enclosure a lot. I don't know why my camera is so blurry. I'm sorry, y'all. There it goes. He's also got himself a little pond with a lily pad. And I add springtails to all my enclosures just because it helps, you know, with the carcasses of the flies. And it helps prevent mold. And they're my cleanup crew which I learned from somebody on a spider group. And boy, he, he sure does love that blue bottle fly. I wish I could get a better angle, but he's just mounting away. Anyways, that's Hermes enclosure. We'll move on. Okay, we'll move on to the next one. What's really neat about these enclosures is that, let me put my phone down for just a second. I feel I'll just prop up. What's really neat about these enclosures is that on the bottom, they have this handle. When you open it, closes and when you close it it makes a tight seal so you just have to be really careful about opening and closing it and making sure they're not near the bottom because I've had mishaps before so this is Nix's enclosure which I also made from scratch she also has a chala wood and she has made her hide, one of them anyway, in a butterfly. You can see her web right there. And she's got a little wrought iron fence that I decorated a wooden hide. She also has a pond. I keep cotton, wet cotton to keep humidity in case they decide they want to molt one day. She's even got a little bumblebee. Man, that's just my fruit fly culture. I 
I just fed Nyx. I believe she is looking for her fly at the moment. But boy, does she catch her flies in no time. All right, the next enclosure I would like to show you that I made. Well, okay, yeah. This is Zyla's enclosure. She is preparing to molt because she is probably the fattest little spood I've ever met. Her appetite is absolutely ridiculous. And right now, she has made her little home inside here. I will open it so you guys can see inside. So be very careful. Okay. I'm gonna set it down. So this is what it looks like whenever it's outside. She's also got her a little wrought iron, a bumblebee, little marble flooring, kind of extra, but you know, I love my spiders. And there she is. And they're molting. Humidity is perfect, but she actually made her web right in front of the humidity and temperature gauge. So it's kind of hard to see unless I have a good flashlight. So we are just going to put this back on. It goes this way. And always be careful, even though she is molting. We want to be careful when we put the lids back on. Tight seal. There we go. Xylus. And just so you know, I have made an order from Spood Manor on Etsy. And she has the most amazing spider enclosures. Um, hoping to move Xylith into her Spood Manor when it finally gets here. Because I like for my spiders to get bigger and their homes to get bigger. You know, it's just me. And this is Eleanor's enclosure. It's just a Zilla. I bought it from Petco. Uh, and originally I had her in something bigger, but she didn't really seem to come out as much in the bigger enclosure. So I moved her into something smaller and she is much less shy. She's in here. Just a chillin'. She's a little more timid than the rest of them, but at the same time, she's also very fun to handle and very spunky. She's got a mailbox, and they all have humidity and temperature gauges. And she's got plenty of springtails in the bottom of her enclosure as well to prevent mold, and so they eat them carcasses, so it's not as hard for me to clean. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys my enclosures. I try to post a video, a video every day. Excuse me, I can't, my brain's not working today. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I can't wait to show you guys the new enclosure that I get from Spood Manor from Brittany Bush. I highly recommend for you guys to check her out on Etsy. Thanks for watching. You guys have a Merry Christmas.